Hey folks, Tom Britt here from Nashville, Tennessee, home of the Grand Ole Opry. Um, I'm kind of, uh, uh, well, I've spent a lot of time, uh, many years playing behind the bar slide, uh, stuff like Um, and it's, you have to start simple. Obviously I've been doing it for a long time. So, um, just to get you started, I, I, let's, let's start with, uh, uh, D chord. We're doing D chord tuning. So let's start. The first string is a D. D. Next string, A. Next string, F sharp. Next string, D again. Lower D. Next string, a lower A. And the sixth string, a low D. So let's... So let's go up to the 12th fret. Now, this is a D chord, obviously, because you're on the 12th fret, and you know, hold your bar across like this. It's good to have a, a, a straight bar. I use Dunlop 211s. They're perfectly straight. Makes it easier to play behind the bar. So let's just make the chord. D chord. So what we're going to do is take the third string and place your finger on that note and just barely lift your bar up on that third string. So it would be like. I mean, I'm barely lifting the bar up. I'm, I'm actually. I don't, I don't hold the bar very tight. I hold it pretty loose on top of the string, so, I, so that allows me to duck that string underneath the bar and let it ring out. And then you can, you can do it in various other places. You can, uh, starting at the top, uh, And it's good. To, I have fairly big strings. This is my first gauge string here. I believe is a 13, 18, 22 plane right there. Probably a 38 or a, no, 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 a 30, and then a 38, and then a 50. Um, and that allows you to play behind the bar. If your strings were too small, you know the bar would just crap. It would just crap out on. It. So just lightly touch. Touch your bar on that 12th fret. Now, take your pointer finger and hit, and on the third string, bring this down. Put your finger down on there. Gives you a nine chord. So I incorporate it, when I play slide, I incorporate a little bit of finger behind the bar all the time, pretty much all the time. So, I mean, I, it, it takes a while, you know, it's gonna take you a while to get to that point. But just as far as uh, the technique involved, just practice on just doing one string at a time. Letting them ring together like that. That's part slide and part finger. Add a little bar. So um, I'll follow up on this uh, next lesson and um, practice on that a little bit, and then we'll take it uh, to a different place from there and uh, help you out with that. Thank you.